Tonight I'm going to talk about deliverance. In 1970, the great Jim Dickey wrote the book Deliverance. It was his first novel. It was a story of four Atlantans who decided to go outside the perimeter, up into the wilds of North Georgia, and ride a river that was going to be flooded and lost forever. In 1972, it was a movie starring Burt Reynolds and John Boyd, and it was the film debut of The Great Dead Baby. If you have seen this movie, you know what I mean when I say that some scenes cannot be unseen. <laughs> Go Ned. But for me, the music of Deliverance was what inspired me, and many like me, to take up these old instruments and learn old songs and to get out of our comfort zones and do something different. Later, I read the book, and this quote brought the book home to me. Will our machines fail us? Will our systems fail us? Can we really take to the hills and start over? <laughs> if you take away everything that we are, what's left? What are we? What are we? And this brings me to what I really wanted to talk about tonight, and that is the singularity. So the singularity is a point beyond which we can't predict where our machines and our technology are evolving at such a fast rate that we can't really keep up, we can't comprehend it. Ray Kurzweil uses a Charlie list to show that this has been happening for a long, long time. Throughout our history, technology is changing at an exponential rate, and he predicts, just like Moore's Law, that it's going to keep on going. Some examples. I carry with me in my pocket more computing power than NASA used in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s combined. NASA went to the moon. I used Twitter. <laughs> this, and it's happening everywhere, this is a uh, pentacene molecule. It looks exactly like we predicted. This molecule is a million times smaller than a grain of sand. That's an amazing shot. So this technology rate is changing, and it's getting faster and faster and faster. And pretty soon all those changes are going to pile up. And we mere humans are not going to be able to keep up. And that's what the singularity is. The singularity is a point where we can't see past it. We don't know what's going to happen. But... I don't think it's time yet that we should take to the hills. Because as that book showed, taking to the hills doesn't always work out. I mean, poor Ned baby, come on. Um, we are who we are. We can't set aside our humanity. The hills that we might want to retreat to are really just an illusion. So instead, I offer this to you. Maybe this rush of technology is really our river, our new wild Tachuga River. We only dimly know where it's been. We don't really know where it's headed. But one thing is sure, wherever it's headed, we're headed to. Now, we may not all get there at the same time. We may not all get there, but we're bound to it. We're bound to ride. And technology brought us here tonight, and it's going to take us from this here to our next there. And the singularity really is just some point along this river, a point where we don't know what's ahead. It might be smooth, it might be unsurvivable rapids and dull sluice. But we're bound to go. And there may be folks that come after us who know how to go to the woods, who know how to come upstream to visit us. And we're going to be their hillbillies. We're going to be their hillbillies. This river, this rush of technology, is going to define us. Technology is really our gravity, and we're the river, and we're flowing. We're flowing to what we're going to be. That's deliverance. That's our deliverance. Thank you.